In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to style babe t-shirts. Now, I got two t-shirts that I'm gonna be showing you guys, three amazing outfits, and four great tips for you to follow when it comes to styling babes. So, let's get it started. What's going on everybody on YouTube? If this is our first time meeting, my name is Bryson and on my channel I teach men how to style sneakers and clothing and in this one we are going to be going over how to style Bape t-shirts. Now if at any point in the video you guys are digging some of the pieces, some of the looks, check out the links that I have in the description box below. They are going to be linked directly to the website where you can purchase them. A lot of those items are on sale and most of them are from Totman because it's just one of my favorite stores at the moment. So definitely check those out. Great. So let's go into the first tip and that is to never go full high beast. Now what does that mean exactly? So Bape of course is a streetwear brand and streetwear brands are very popular these days with Supreme, with Bape. There's a ton out there. But what you want to do is to not mix them, okay? So when you have Bape, only wear Bape. Stick to similar items. If you're wearing a Supreme hat, you know, a Bape t-shirt, and you know, some Yeezys, you kinda look like a hype beast. If you really, if you really wanna hit a home run when it comes to styling Bape, then totally avoid mixing brands like that. To me, it's like wearing Nike and Adidas together. It's just not a good look. So as a replacement, what you can do is let your Bape item stand out. Let it do all the talking in the outfit. And that's exactly what we are gonna see in outfit number one here. I am wearing a beige colored stone, or sorry, a stone colored coach's jacket. Once again, this is from Topman. It's a nice nylon material, which is specific to coach's jackets. And I just love how the tones of the jacket match the tones of the actual Bape t-shirt itself. They're not exactly the same rather, but they are similar, so I think that's a really good look. Additionally, I went with a nice light wash denim to keep the tones of the outfit similar. You know, I would avoid wearing a black pair of jeans with this similar outfit and instead go with the light wash. I do like the distressing features. This is called the mid wash, uh, sorry, light wash blown out jeans that are from Topman. Topman is easily my favorite place to buy denim. So definitely check out the link in the description if you guys are digging the jacket or if you're digging the jeans. Now in terms of the sneakers, I am wearing a cream colored pair of Ultra Boost. These are the 1.0s and I made a video of my impressions of buying them from StockX. So if you guys are interested in that, you can check Check out that card up there. It'll link you directly to that video. Now, with this outfit, I wanted to keep the tone similar as I mentioned a bunch of times. So this is just a really great look, great for spring and summertime, which is coming up sooner than later. So let's move on to tip number two. Now for tip number two, it is to wear with understated items. So the Bape shirt that you guys are looking at right now is the Puma Bape collaboration. This is the soccer jersey. It is one of my favorite Bape pieces that I've had and I've had it in my collection for a number of years and for good reason. It is super loud and it is just screams bape, which is exactly why I wanted it. Now, as opposed to wearing a light wash pair of denim or a pair of black denim, I instead chose somewhere in the middle, which is a pair of mid wash jeans. Now this has a stone wash and what that means is it is gonna have a sort of yellowish tint to them. Now, the reason why I've chose that is because of the tan colors and the tan accents in the actual babe camouflage, right? So you got your dark greens, you got your mid-color greens, but there's also that classic tan that they add to the Bape camo. And I wanted to sort of match that with the sneakers as well. So I did choose a pair of black sneakers. These are the Bread Force, one of my favorite sneakers of all time, especially the ones that released in 2019 with the Nike Air on the back, super fresh. And the red hits of this sneaker actually contrast with the green pretty nicely. So if you think of a color wheel right now, colors that actually complement each other are ones that are opposite on a color wheel. So that's exactly what you're seeing here. You see the green and it is complete opposite of the red. So that actually means that the, sh the colors will complement each other pretty well if you accent them correctly. So when I was wearing these shoes, I did want to make sure that there was little flashes of red to go with the outfit as well. But to be honest, I ultimately just love these sneakers so much. So I made sure that I wore them 
with this outfit. So let's move on to the third and final tip. So moving along to the third and final tip, it is to not be afraid to layer the item. So, you know, if this is your first time picking up a babe t-shirt or if you have 10, oftentimes you get excited to show it off to the world, as I mentioned in outfit number two. And it's perfectly normal to want to throw over a jacket. And that's exactly what I did in this outfit because I find that by throwing it, it, it sort of adds a little bit more of a subtle element where it's like, hey, you know, I'm formal, but I'm also here to party. You know what I mean? So what I did is I threw over this corduroy collar mid-wash denim jacket. I'll take you a step further. The denim that I'm wearing is a corduroy pair of skinny trousers and the sneakers, I'm so glad you guys asked, another corduroy dusty peach Nike SB Dunk Low. I'm huge on corduroy and I'm not afraid to say it. Now, this, uh, this outfit is super fresh. I love how the tones sort of match each other, but at the same time, they, they, sort, of, they sort of don't. So the denim is blue denim. The pants, they're actually green. They're like an army green color. And the sneakers themselves, I actually have them right here. This is sort of like a clay material. Now the tan actually does match the Bape logo in the middle, as well as the collar of the sneaker as well. So whereas these the colors, they sort of pop, but they also match together. And the blue swoosh goes with the blue denim from the jacket. So for this particular fit, as I mentioned, don't be afraid to throw a jacket over it and let let you know let the Bape shirt sort of take the back seat. And that's what's so versatile with you know getting certain streetwear items like bape is that you can also put it front and center or you could sort of take a step back right and you can also you know let it take a back seat in sort of the sense right here now I have a ton of other how to style videos that I want you guys to check out you can click this playlist right here for the full I have over 25 how to style videos just like this one and once again if you guys are digging these videos make sure to look in the link in the description for all of the amazing pieces that you guys see here today now, click the link right over there and I'll meet you there.